Good morning, y'all. It's JL once again. It is Friday, February 1st, 2019. I'm out here on beautiful Sullivan's Island at Fort Moultrie. Had a doctor's appointment this morning with Dr. George, Dr. George Durst Jr., who fixed me up and I had some extra time and had my drone in the car, so I came out here to shoot some video and fly around, tell you a little bit more about Fort Moultrie. So I'm looking forward to that. And until our next time, I bid you a good day. In 1776, South Carolinians prepared for a British invasion by building a fort on this site. This key position on Sullivan's Island, beside the main ship channel, protected the entrance to Charleston Harbor. The fort was designed as a 500-foot square with a bastion at each corner. To build it, thousands of palmetto logs were cut and rafted to Sullivan's Island, with double log walls standing 10 feet high, 16 feet apart, and filled with sand. The structure resembled an immense pen. On June 28, Colonel William Moultrie and his garrison of the Palmetto Log Fort successfully defended Charleston against the British fleet. Later, Moultrie was promoted to general and the fort was named in honor of him. The two cannons in front of you are reproductions cast in 1976 by the National Park Service for the American Bicentennial Celebration and placed here to generally represent the location of the Palmetto Log Fort built in anticipation of a British attack. Along with the cannon inside the visitor center, these cannons represent the three English 18-pounder cannon inside the Palmetto Log Fort. During the Battle of Sullivan's Island on June 28, 1776, Colonel William Moultrie and his men of the 2nd South Carolina Regiment used these cannon and other to defeat the non-British warships.